Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks. Our next guests, Abhay Jaiswal and Arjun Gadkari, are the founders of Neil Guy Foods, a company they set up in early 2011 to give Mumbai Co's a taste of food from around the world. Now, while Neil Guy Foods is the corporate entity, Pico is the consumer-facing brand. Today, they run six dine-in restaurants under the Cafe Pico brand and also the Pico Express, their quick service offering. But Abha and Arjun believe their soon-to-be-launched packaged gourmet foods business will be the cash cow. Take a look. A quick glance at the menu at Cafe Pico is like making a whistle-stop tour around the world. Delicacies from Portugal, Africa, Mexico, America and even Bulgaria are on offer for foodies who like to experiment. Founded in 2011, the parent company Neil Guy Foods runs dining restaurants and also manufactures gourmet packaged foods under the Pico brand. To sell the real deal, co-founders Arjun and Abhay brought on board Nicole Gonzalez Pereira, Le Cordon Bleu chef and protégé of the bad boy of the food business Gordon Ramsay. Nicole is relentless in her pursuit to innovate and give you the perfect bite. And there seem to be plenty of takers with revenues crossing two and a half full rupees. Eating out here in India is considered to be something to have a good time, but uh, you can't always eat out every day of the week, which is something that is very normal in the West. Uh, and the reason for that is, uh, you know, people believe that outside, having outside food here, uh, the food is not hygienic, sometimes it doesn't use the right ingredients, which is not good for your health. And if you think about it, those are problems that are more specific to the market rather than being generically true. So uh, what we said is, if we develop a concept over here which gives people uh, food that can be eaten very regularly, but at the same time is very, very interesting, sourced from around the world, very unique, and we could make it very accessible to people here in India, and perhaps present it, uh, uh, you know, all over the place like the coffee market has grown in India, then we would have something very uh, interesting. And the quest to create something interesting led to the launch of Pico Express in 2012. Crafted for the busy urban citizen, these quick service restaurants offer fresh and healthy food on the go. Service through a central kitchen in Goregaon, the duo claims that the Express outlets replenish its offerings twice a day, serving you fresh food 24 by 7. Pico Express also has catering services for corporates, hotels and restaurants to widen its client base. So who else is on the radar? We are looking at a demographic which is in its early 20s to its late 30s. Uh, what we find that uh, the people, uh, the group of people who have started or gone into the workforce have started working right from that in onwards to when they have young kids. That's the demographic that we look in urban pockets. So from the age of 23, 24 to about 39, 40, where lifestyles are very busy and yet people uh, want to experiment food, ex uh, experience food from around the world. Launching next month are a range of gourmet products which will be sold through supermarkets and hypermarkets. While jams and preserves will be on the shelf at the time of launch, the duo will offer cooking sauces and drinks by next year. With a startup capital of 30 crore rupees to set up the back-end capabilities, the Pico team is looking at another round of fundraising. Provided funding um, isn't, the, um, isn't a major constraint, what we will be looking for is um, a fairly rapid expansion nationally on the express side, targeting first um, tier one cities and looking hopefully to franchise our model in tier two and slightly, um, sm slightly smaller areas of India or slightly smaller markets. But then if we're talking about the manufacturing side, um, we already have a built-in capacity of a few hundred um, tons per year. We are planning as soon as we find the, the right buyers for our products, we are looking to expand nationally in the short term as well. Um, all of our manufactured products have a 12-month certified shelf life. So there's nothing actually that is, um, that is preventing us from going nationally right now. If I compare that to the dine-in side, it will still take 
another few months for our brand to develop. It will take a bit more time for our organization and our organizational structure to be able to handle multiple cities. With their pins tacked up, Abha and Arjun are eyeing tie-ups with retailers across India to get their packaged foods business rolling. With the target of scoring 60% to 70% of their revenues from the packaged foods vertical, Abha and Arjun are looking to strike out and break even by 2014. Well, Abha and Arjun here is wishing you the very best of luck with Cafe Pico Pico Express and your newly launched packaged gourmet foods business. With that, it brings us to the end of this episode of Young Turks.